What up, hi days? Welcome to Premier Lawns video. Today, I'm going to show you how to aerate your own lawn with a few different tools, and it's probably not going to be what you think, so stick around. Welcome back. Now, you guys have been asking me to how to hand aerate your lawn, so we're going to dive in and we're going to show you different ways to aerate your lawn. Now, I'm going to say that I struggle to get some manual aerators, as a lot of places are sold out due to Brexit and everything else. But we're going to show you some ways and maybe think outside the box a bit. Now, before we begin, let's get the grass cut. Okay, so we're going to try these things here. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have seen these. I picked these up on Amazon. They're about 12 quid a pair. Now, they have spikes on them, so you, you put them under your feet. So you can see there, they're going into the grass, about, they're going into the grass about an inch, so we'll have a go with these now. Just before we get into it, folks, if I could ask you to make sure you smash that like button down there, subscribe for more videos like this. We post, I post regular videos on how to tips and tricks from the trade and how to get the most out of your own lawn. So let's get on with it. All right, guys, so I had a go with these and I don't think they do a great job. The fact that they're only really going into the ground an inch and you risk falling, hurting yourself, these wouldn't really be my first choice. So these here are pretty cheap and they're available in most places. You see these up for sale a lot. So we're gonna have a go with these and see what they're like. The Draper Hollow Court, not that impressed with it. There are other aerators on the market like this that actually have a, a side ejector. Like, so whenever you aerate a, a, a bit and you put that down and then it pops out the side, I believe that design would be much better. These are too long and they just block up really quickly. You could cut it in half, but then you're gonna lose the benefit of it. So. All right, guys, now I'm going to talk about something that you all have in your garden shed. And it, for, for me, it's actually, I think it's a really underrated aerator, and that is your garden fork. If you get your garden fork and if you just punch holes down into the ground, you're probably just going to waste your time. So we're going to talk through a method that green keepers and professional groundsmen do and how to really maximize this fork Last week's video, we were at a golf course and they were doing verde draining with an aerator and the, the tines go, those, those tines go deep into the ground and whenever they're in the ground, they pivot 
And what that does is it creates fissures in the ground. So we can do the exact same thing with our garden fork. The only thing you need to do is put it in and move it. And we're going to create the same action that the verdies winner creates. All right guys, so we've tried the fork and we've tried the, the manual aerator and we've tried the, the shoes. Time to maybe think outside the box a bit, so. We're gonna have a go with an SDS drill bit. Right guys, so our SDS drill bit, now I have something else just, just outside, thing, I'm trying to think outside the box how we're going to aerate the lawn, so I picked these up off Amazon, now I'm going to drop a, an affiliate link down in the description of this video where you can pick these here up. These are very good, now you need to be really careful whenever you're using these that there's no hazards underneath the ground, pipes, wires, cables, because you'll drill right through these here. But these are particularly useful if, say for example, if you lived in a new build, and you had a lot of compacted areas. You can use these to drill down into the ground and, and you can go really deep there with these. Right guys, so this tool here I didn't really think too much of this. I think maybe if it had side ejectors on it that popped it out like other models that are in the market. Uh, I thought it was quite hard work, although it might work if the soil's a bit damper. The shoes wasn't that fussed again. The fact that you could trip up or cause yourself damage. So gonna say no to them. The fork. I think the fork's really underrated as an aerator and I think everybody has one. And as long as you're putting it into the ground and tilting it so as you're creating the fissures in the ground, like they do in the golf courses with a verde drainer, I think the fork's really underrated as an aerator. I think these augers are pretty good. I think if you had like a really compacted garden or if you were in a new build and you want to change some of your soil, although obviously you need to check to make sure that you're not going to drill into anything because you could cause a bit of damage with this thing. So, my favourite tool would be the SDS drill bit. If you want to aerate your lawn and you can't get any tools at the minute because everywhere's sold out of stuff, I think this here's a really good option. So look, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button down there. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.